Oh, hello guys, so we are going to discuss controls. Simple, yet it could be confusing because of the axis involved. Students often get confused between the lateral and longitudinal axis. Alright, so I am going to draw a, a simple figure so that it's easier to understand and interpret. Okay. Okay, my drawing skills aren't that <laughs> effective, but yet, okay. So, this is a okay. So, now what we have here is an axis like this, an axis that goes through the wings and another axis that passes like this okay so this is your longitudinal axis okay this is your lateral axis this is your vertical or normal Axis. This isn't working. Longitudinal. Okay. Through the length from the nose to the tail of the aircraft is the longitudinal. Lateral is through the wings, and vertical is through the perpendicular of the longitudinal and lateral axis. It's important to know movement about the lateral axis. Is your pitch the aircraft moves like this across its wings pitch okay movement about the longitudinal axis is your roll through the roll this is the longitudinal axis left and right the roll movement about the normal axis is your yaw through the yaw like this the aircraft moves like this yaw okay so this is important it could be confusing because and also if you remember in the previous video we had uh, discussed that longitudinal stability is around the it's a motion around the lateral axis okay so this can be confusing so just keep it clarified and noted down at some place Okay, now we'll discuss the basic primary control surfaces. There are three basic primary control surfaces and they are elevators, rudders and ailerons. Alright, we'll discuss each of them in detail. So, first let me draw the an aircraft viewed from above okay so all right and this is your tail plane so elevators are elevators are this part generally these are elevators there are different types of elevators obviously but the location of elevators is on the tail plane all right and then your ailerons are generally outboard on the on the trailing edge outboard part these are your ailerons these are your elevators the rudder is obviously it's viewed from the side view of the aircraft suppose this is the fin the rudder is this this is your rudder all right there are uh, bigger aircraft have dual rudders they split on top and bottom like example the 320 380 has a split rudder okay some just have smaller airplanes just have require only one rudder so hence okay so now in we'll go in details of elevators ailerons and 
rudder so let's start with elevators now elevators will give you pitch correct elevators will give you pitch so if you move the control column forward forward elevators go down okay and this in turn produces an force an aerodynamic force acting on the tail plane this one tail plane in an upward direction this in turn causes nose down so if you move it forward the elevators go down this will produce an a force acting on the tail plane upward causing the nose to go down the opposite is the case for if you pull it backward elevators will come up this will produce a force acting on the tail plane in the downward direction causing a pitch up okay the primary control is to provide primary effect sorry primary effect of is to provide pitch about the lateral axis okay important point to note no secondary effect no secondary effect of the elevator okay there is no secondary effect of the elevator all right so next we'll discuss rudder now rudder gives you yaw correct we had discussed in the previous on the previous page okay so now if you press or hit the left rudder okay rudder moves to the left okay this will produce a force on the fin from the right okay an aircraft yours left okay so left rudder rudder moves to the left okay in this forward elevators will go down in this if you press the left rudder the aileron moves to the left or the rudder moves to the left and the force of on the fin will make the aircraft yaw to the left okay the primary effect primary effect is to provide yaw control about the normal axis please note these down these are very important it could be really confusing at times okay now rudder has a secondary effect effect secondary effect it is to roll in the same direction of yaw okay now why does this happen okay now the tendency is when you yaw okay now the outer wing on on yawing outer wing travels faster correct so outer wing if it travels faster it will generate lift lift will increase and if the lift increases on the outer wing it will roll into the direction of the yaw okay get this correct and cleared any doubts please comment and ask all right the next one we are going to do is ailerons okay now ailerons what what do they create the effect is roll correct a roll what happens is ailerons if you move the control column control column towards left move it towards left so what happens is left aileron 
goes up right goes down key important point to note please remember control column if you move it to the left the left aileron comes up whichever side move move the aileron to that side will come up the other side goes down this will create a differential lift differential lift is generated and aircraft rolls to left okay and the opposite is if you move the control column to the right right aileron comes up and left goes down differential lift again aircraft rolls to the right primary effect is to provide roll about the longitudinal axis okay now there is also aileron only the elevators don't have a secondary effect so secondary effect of aileron is is to yaw in the same direction of roll now why does this happen okay so what happens is when the bank angle suppose the ba the bank angle is increased suppose you are rolling to the left the bank angle has increased now the aircraft slips towards low wing correct now there is a relative airflow has a considerable side component side way component has increased okay the relative airflow relative airflow has a side way component now this leads to what happens because of the side way component the distribution of the keel surface is all always more be behind the cg if you remember then the last video i discussed this is your keel surface right so it is generally distributed more behind the cg okay and this is the reason since the relative airflow has changed this because of the keel surface distribution of keel surface is more behind the cg than in the front aircraft yaws to the direction of roll suppose it's a left it will left now there is a another secondary effect is that's of the aileron is to yaw in the opposite direction you may wonder you may wonder why uh, secondary effect is the same direction of roll but due to adverse aileron drag another secondary effect is the aircraft roll yaws in opposite direction okay adverse aileron drag will cause the aircraft to yaw in the opposite direction we'll discuss adverse aileron drag later okay sometimes what happens is these primary which we have discussed ailerons elevators and your rudders are sometime combined to uh, to form one combination examples are elevators rudder waiter flaperons all right so surfaces are combined okay so this is arranged so that the type of uh, functions of the two surfaces are into into one this is to generally reduce the effect of adverse yaw surfaces are combined to reduce effect of adverse yaw examples are elevons b you can have rudder waiters then you have c flaperons you can just decode elevator plus aileron correct rudder plus elevator flaps plus ailerons all right so these are the combinations we'll just discuss quickly 
regarding the elevons and okay so elevons generally if you remember the design of the concord had elevons because it has a delta shaped wing suppose this is the aircraft it has a delta shaped wing if you remember concord so this here you have elevons okay so now what happens with the elevons is when you move the control column forward same it just works as an elevator plus aileron control column forward then the elevons are like elevators they work like a elevators and they are deflected in work like elevators if the control column control column is turned if it is turned it works as an aileron it is a combination of elevator and aileron so it works like that rudder waiter rudder waiter is generally they function when an, it when when it functions like an elevator it is if you see rudder waiters are generally uh, suppose i'll just draw an aircraft from behind the rudder waiters are in a shape like this so suppose the aircraft it is generally used in air force fighter jets if you have seen this is the exhaust these are your rudder waiters they are rudder plus elevators okay the aileron this is the wing suppose this is the wing this is your rudder waiter okay on the top so what happens is when it is functioning as an elevator they move in same direction by equal amount okay so and when they work as a rudder opposite direction so suppose if you have to yaw to the right okay so the rudder waiter this one will be pressed and this will be moved in the opposite direction okay so causing a yaw so this is about rudder waiter there is something called as flaperons flaperons and it is generally used in modern commercial jets where uh, uh, flapper flaps are often used flaps are generally placed at the inboard edge but flaperons are extended throughout and they are a combination of flaps and ailerons where flaps can also be used as an aileron all right so that's all about controls it can get little confusing about which axis and stuff otherwise it's easy so you guys just keep watching and uh, next we are going to do is uh, control balancing how aerodynamic forces act on the controls flight controls all right so keep watching share it like it if you like it see ya guys bye bye